Welcome to this week's edition of Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Chi Chen Lo. In Taiwan, baseball has been referred to as national sport. For many people, watching baseball game has become a very joyful family event. In today's ball game, we'll be discussing baseball, its history, and prospects. We are very delighted today to invite Dr. Dean Yuan, who is a very famous professional sports commentator on many national and international sports events. Dr. Yuan, welcome to our program. Hello. Uh, as we know that you uh, have a very uh, important career change. You, know, you <laughs> major in uh, geology. Mm -hmm. Now you become a professional sports commentator. Could you tell us about your own uh, career change? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Uh -huh. I always say that uh, because my major when I was in college and is a geology. When uh -huh. I went to the United States, study in the graduate school uh, is geophysics. That's right. uh, but when I come back in 90, early 90, and at that time, Taiwan just started professional baseball league. That's right. That's, uh, I think it's the second year of the league. Mm -hmm. And I love sports, especially baseball, because mm -hmm. I watch Major League Baseball uh, when I was in the United States all the time. Mm -hmm. So when I come back, uh, I'm waiting for a job. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I, I think it's 1991. Uh -huh. uh, because the, the, the job not available until the next year. You when we Taiwan have the Taiwan Major League. Yeah. yeah so I, I just volunteer went to the uh, commissioner's office yeah. at that time say, I can do something for Taiwanese baseball mm -hmm. because I just come back from the United States. I yeah. know all those professional baseball in the United States. That's right. So I try to find a way to help the Taiwanese baseball. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the commissioner of the uh, CPBL, that's yeah. Chinese Professional Baseball mm -hmm. League, trust me. And then uh, he gave me an interview, mm -hmm. and they say, all right, we need uh, somebody to, uh, to broadcast our game. Uh -huh. Can you do something about that? Uh -huh. I said, sure, because <laughs> I, I, I watch and I listen to professional baseball game uh -huh. uh, for like uh, more than 10 years in the that's United right. States. Mm -hmm. So I just, uh, I, I don't know what kind of a college, mm -hmm. uh, a courage at that time. Yeah. Uh, he said, what kind of thing you think you can help the Taiwanese baseball? I just mm -hmm. say. I can do the commentator. Things. In addition yeah. to watching uh, professional games in the U.S., and how do you excel yourself in those sports, you know, techniques, you know, uh, strategies, and so on? Uh, believe it or not, when I watched the Major League Baseball game back in the United States, mm -hmm. I just uh, uh, image myself. <laughs> if I were the commentator when uh -huh. I watched the game, I see. what I will say at a certain situation. Uh -huh. At that time, just a dream, you know. I uh -huh. just. I don't know why. I, but did I you practice kind of, yourself? Yeah, I practiced myself. You did? Yeah, yeah, I don't know why. I never imagined I would do this kind of a job uh -huh. f for life. You yeah. know? So when I come back, I just so have, have this kind of a chance, opportunity come up. Mm -hmm. So I just catch. Uh, and uh, suddenly, uh, I think at that time, they say, are you going to think about it, mm -hmm. this thing? Because if, once you make a change, you're probably going to give up uh, the geology. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> completely. Major, yeah. So I just think about two days. I say, all right, because the baseball is uh, such a, a wonderful game. Mm -hmm. I know baseball uh, is a fun game. Mm -hmm. So it's much better than the rock I <laughs> study, you know. So I just think about two days. So I jump into the baseball. But uh, as you field. mentioned, that uh, uh, our Taiwan Major League professional uh, league did not come about uh, until 1992. Mm -hmm. So you start from the very scratch, mm -hmm. you know. You invite yourself in this establishment of the Taiwan Major League. What were the most difficult parts uh, when Taiwan began the whole process of establishing a, in a professional league? I think every professional baseball sport, not only the baseball league, mm -hmm. every professional sports league, when they start uh, a league, mm -hmm. they will face a lot of a challenge. Yeah. The CPBL, the same thing. All right, start from the, I joined the league the second years. Mm -hmm. uh, when I joined the league, because all my concept, all my idea is from the major league. That's right. Okay, I put uh, all the major league idea into the CPBL. Mm -hmm. That's totally wrong because <laughs> CPBL only the second year at that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they don't have any kind of a, a system mm -hmm. or you call the regulation. Mm -hmm. They don't have a draft system. They don't have a minor league. Even right now, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a 17 years now, right now for the CPBL. Yeah. They still have no this kind of a a uh, system. basic system. Yeah. Uh, that's the thing they need to improve. Mm -hmm. But uh, they have to spend time and gradually. Mm -hmm. I call this is a growing pain. Yeah. You know, every league have to face this. But it all depends on the uh, the ownership, mm -hmm. the, the management yeah. has this, this kind of a uh, determination. Mm -hmm. 
if they determine they want to do yeah. this kind of thing, they want to go this direction, mm -hmm. Sooner or later, they will succeed. Although we say that uh, Taiwan uh, did not have the, major, the professional team until the early 1990s, but Taiwan has been playing baseball all the way, you know, mm -hmm. back to the you know 1930s or 20th. And why is you know uh, baseball so popular in Taiwan? I think that's the uh, the, the, the biggest uh, advantage of the uh, baseball in Taiwan mm -hmm. because the the people, the Taiwanese people, mm -hmm. the passion, they love baseball, the love uh, uh, of Taiwanese people people about the baseball. Yeah. So no matter what, people just love to watch, to play the baseball. This mm -hmm. is the biggest advantage. Yeah. And to talk about why the baseball becomes the number one sport in Taiwan, I mm -hmm. think this is a, I think it's two major reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, one reason, just like I say, they have a long history of the baseball. Yeah. They play the baseball for a long time. Mm -hmm. And also they love the, the, the game. Mm -hmm. And another reason is uh, the baseball probably is the only game or only sports, mm -hmm. Taiwanese has a good performance, <laughs> an international one. That's right. Like uh, start from the Little League. Uh, we all know, uh, mm -hmm. start from late 60s until like uh, early 90s. 90s. In 25 years, mm -hmm. uh, Taiwanese Little League team win 19 uh, championships. Yeah. World championship. Yeah. So they create a huge, uh, we call it confidence for the, for the, for the, Mm -hmm. For this nation, mm -hmm. you know, this is the, the the thing. Then in the eighty, I think it's the Los Angeles Olympic. Yeah. That's the first time baseball become the exhibition game mm -hmm. at that time. And uh, Taiwan won the bronze medal. Mm -hmm. And then in the ninety two, uh, Barcelona Olympic. Yeah. Uh, when the baseball the first time become the official mm -hmm. uh, sports mm -hmm. in Olympic mm -hmm. game, uh, Taiwan won the uh, also win the silver medal. Yeah. So yeah. this is the thing I think uh, create. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, this kind of uh, popularity mm -hmm. for the That's baseball right. in, in Taiwan. But as you mentioned that, uh, you know, baseball is one of the, you know, most important competitive, uh, uh, you, know, uh, you know, sports event that Taiwan has advantage of. Mm. But why is that, you know? Uh, <laughs> this is very complicated. I, I don't know why. Yeah. The, I think baseball, because baseball is not like basketball. Yeah. Uh, they don't have a, that kind of a certain height advantage. Mm -hmm. They have a limit. They say if you, you are a bigger player, Mm -hmm. You have a certain high. You have a bigger advantage. But yeah. baseball is not that that kind of a sports. Yeah. Even if you are shorter. Even if you are not that stronger. But they have a they consider a great technology uh, a skill. Yeah. So that's the thing I think is suitable for for Taiwan Taiwanese mm -hmm. people to to play. Mm -hmm. uh, and also another thing so I I always try to find the the reason is our Aboriginal people. Uh -huh. A lot of uh, good athletes come from those yeah, Aboriginal. Yeah people yeah, yeah. and just like uh, I always consider those people to the, the black people of uh, the United States mm -hmm. they do a certain in certain area like a sports or the mu uh, uh, musical yeah. this kind of thing mm -hmm. they are very good at so yeah. right now probably more than half of our good baseball player is from Aboriginal people so yeah. I think but that's a good, good thing for, for Taiwan. As you mentioned, that uh, Taiwan has been very good at the major, uh, little league, you know, and now come from the youth league and so on. Mm. And do you think that we still have that kind of good system in terms of promoting our players starting from the little league and so on? If you consider in 25 years, our little league team with 19 championships, <laughs> we should have a whole bunch of good players. adult, yeah. uh, we call the, the uh, good mature baseball player. Yeah. But not that's not the case. Mm. We still consider we need a better system. Sure, yeah. we have a, a system. Try to develop those literally players to, mm -hmm. to the like a, a mature baseball player, but even not professional not, players. Not, yeah, but not good enough so far. We we I think we if we have a better system, mm -hmm. we can produce more mm -hmm. uh, professional baseball. And what's players. wrong with the current system? You know, in terms of recruitment, in terms of you know, uh, you know, promotion uh, and so on. In the past. Because the military service is a big burden for our players. Mm -hmm. Every player, no matter what kind of a player you are, mm -hmm. how good a player you are, you have to go to the military service for two years. But when they, when they, are, they serve in the Army team, you know, Navy team, and so on? No, they don't have a good environment yeah. and good coach to de develop those kind of a good baseball player. Yeah. You know, for, for 19 and uh, uh, 20 years, that's, that kind of an age, that mm -hmm. kind of a period, mm -hmm. is a crucial key period for baseball players. Mm -hmm. But if you spend two years <laughs> in military service, in two years has no continuous 
playing time, mm -hmm. no good coaching to develop those mm -hmm. kind of players. Yeah. After you finish your military service, mm -hmm. you are 21 or 22 years old, mm -hmm. you're done. Yeah. So I think that's the, in the past, that's the, that's the, 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 the key for, to, I think we lost a lot of a good player at that time. Yeah. But right now, there's a, a good solution right now. If you join the national team, mm -hmm. you play the international tournament, yeah. and you win the top three uh, uh, position, mm -hmm. you can forfeit that kind of a, a military service. That's good for our player. But right. we still more. We still need more help or mm -hmm. better system mm -hmm. to develop those players. Uh, in the States, uh, the reason why they have professional players uh, from the young people to the adult people are because in the college, they have a college team, you know, NCAA yeah. and so on. In Taiwan, it's, it doesn't seem that we are very strong at this kind of college league in recruiting the best players, right? That's a good point. Yeah. I think that's another problem for our uh, uh, development of the baseball player is the college. Mm -hmm. We don't have that kind of NCAA system. That's right. And uh, we have very good at like a, a junior high team mm -hmm. or even high school team. Yeah. In that level, we have a world class uh, high school team. Yeah. We can play like a, a in top three position in the international tournament. Mm -hmm. But once they graduate from high school, went to the college, <laughs> so most of those kind of good players disappear. Yeah. You don't know where they, they went. Or even you know those players went to a certain college. Mm -hmm. Then after one year or two years, mm -hmm. their skill is just uh, go backwards, something yeah. like that. Yeah. So college, I think those university, because they don't have a a good coaching mm -hmm. uh, to develop those players. So yeah. that's another problem, another area I think we need to improve. Do you think that uh, our government is thinking about how to, uh, to solve the problem, to fix the problem, in order to make our, our national uh, sports teams more competitive? I think the first thing you have to change the concept, because it, it, no matter is it Taiwan, is those, uh, those parents, mm -hmm. they still have the concept that once their kid went to the college or University. They should study. First thing, study. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So they say, play baseball. Mm -hmm. What's the future for to play baseball? Mm -hmm. In the past, there is no professional baseball here. Right now, even they has a professional baseball league here. Mm -hmm. But the pay, the future, still not very well. It's still not very clear. Mm -hmm. You know, the parents still hesitated to ask or let the, those kids to the, all right, go ahead to play baseball. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You can use this uh, uh, baseball to play baseball. Mm -hmm. to, to earn good money, something like that. Mm -hmm. But they still have wonder, ha, has doubt. Mm -hmm. So they, I think they, that's a big problem. You have to change this kind of concept. But in terms of, uh, uh, in comparison with other sports events, such as basketball and so mm -hmm. on, the, the college team seems to be more competitive than the basketball team, right? Or uh, the high school team as well? I think a, a little bit better, but not, not that much. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the, the overall problem in the, in the university. No matter mm -hmm. what kind of sports, mm -hmm. They still has that kind of concept, go study first. Mm -hmm. Only the certain player or certain uh, uh, department, they yeah. allowed you to do something. So the real problem really lies at the so-called uh, college level, mm. you know, and that's the problem we have to fix. Yeah, that's the gap. Because yeah. that's, just I say, 19, 20, or 21, that, that area is the key for mm -hmm. those good athletes to develop. Mm -hmm. Once you pass that period, no matter how hard you try, mm -hmm. you already lose. Y your potential is gone. Yeah. So that area we have to, I call this the gap. You have mm -hmm. to, we just have to find a solution for that. As, as you mentioned that, uh, you know, professional baseball uh, league has been one of the major uh, places that the, those players uh, can really join and become, uh, choose that as a career. Mm -hmm. But not many people really can really get into that kind of career, right? Mm -hmm. So what about those people who cannot, you know, enter into the career baseball team? Certainly, the, the professional uh, league is the highest level of all kind of uh, those kind of uh, sports. Yeah. Only the top player can uh, participate in the professional league. Yeah. So only maybe 10% or 20%. Mm -hmm. uh, in the United States, if you want to go into the major league, uh, the, the percentage even yeah, lower, lower. Even, yeah. even lower. But in Taiwan, certainly, uh, we don't have that many uh, player mm -hmm. uh, graduate from high school or graduate from uh, university mm -hmm. try to get into the professional league. Mm -hmm. that, that's because the, our professional league still has a lot of a problem. That's right. Uh, but the ones you cannot get into the professional, mm -hmm. that's the, another reason say you still have to study, get a degree from mm -hmm. university. Yeah. Uh, once you cannot play the baseball or play any other professional sport, then you have you can find some other job mm -hmm. to survive. Yeah. So 
that's the reason they still have to study yeah. in high school or mm -hmm. in, the, in the university. Mm -hmm. So try to survive. Yeah. For our national baseball team, uh, there have been ups and downs you know, for the past few years. Mm. And in this most recent uh, you know, uh, baseball World Cup, uh, Taiwan's team uh, you know, is, you know, doesn't seem to be performing well and we have a very disappointing result. Mm. When we come back, we will talk about our national uh, baseball team and whether they can, can they can compete in the Summer Olympics and so on. And let's take a short break. We'll be right back.